Hi, this is a JustBlueMint.com video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use GIMP to change the colour of a car and also blend wide wheel arches using the smudge tool. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to colour a car is as follows. We need to use the path tool here to crop around the whole of the car like so all the way around the edge I'm going to do a really rough copy just to give you bare bones again of what you have to do so we go around the whole of the car the car shell don't include the wheels which is really really quick obviously you'll do it properly and make sure it's neat and up and so on all the way around the car and then when you get to the end shift V to select from path that selects your area and then do a control C to copy it and a control V to paste now call it whatever you want and basically you've now got two images of the car shell so now what we can do is we can start to colorize so you go to colors colorize and you can play around till you get the color you want so you can change the hue which changes quite a lot saturation more computerized look turn on saturation and so on and the lightness and then once you've played around with that you can also play around with the hue in here and all these settings and brightness and contrast etc okay now as you can see it's made not just the car paintwork the color it's also made all the windows lights grills etc all the color as well so to get rid of this this is why we created the two layers here, one on top of each other. The one on top is your colouring, the one on the bottom is the one without the colour. Because if we turn the top layer off, back to how we were. Back on, it's got the colour. So, logically, if you delete parts of the top layer that you don't need, such as this window, like so, and Shift V, to select from path and then push delete on your keyboard it'll come back through because you're, you're seeing the layer from underneath now and then do a control c control v to copy and paste the layer and then just delete it and there you go if you do this for the whole car including all the lights etc and always make sure you're always deleting on this top layer one mistake that might happen is you might be on this layer and you do what I said, shift B and push delete, and nothing happens, and you'll be wondering what's happening. You need to be always on this top layer here. Shift B, delete, and as you can see, it's coming, it's coming back through. And you need to do this for the whole car, okay? And that's basically how you colour a car. It takes some time to do, but it looks good in the end, okay? Okay, in this part. I'll be showing you how to widen the wheel arches very quickly though but it won't be very detailed okay so here's a quick start just to get you started the first thing you need to do is pull out this area here so to do that you can either use the path tool to go around the edge or in some cases the circle tool like so but I don't think it's going to work this time no so we'll use the cropping so you crop round like so and crop in the wheel like that and then shift V to select from path control C control V call it arch okay next you want to Grab this tool here, which is the move tool, 
and click on your layer, make sure you're on your arch, and move it out. I use the arrow keys. Depending on how far you want the wide wheel arch to be. Okay, so we'll say we want it about there this time. And then, in a nutshell, we can merge visible layers like so, merge, get this tool here which is the smudge tool, set your scale to how you want it and you start blending. Now this bit takes a long time, quite a long time because you're going to be blending all around here and getting it all perfect etc. You have to blend in lines properly, you have to set that right and then you'll want to mess about with the bodywork and blend all this in etc and you'll eventually have a wide wheel arch which is ready for some alloys and a body kit etc but that's just the bare bones again of it so I hope it gives you some ideas to do some more stuff on GIMP and this has been a justbloomit.com video don't forget to check out my website oh.